the barrier to improve shelter is literally just one wall away even <laughs> that's um, it <laughs> it's a temporary wall that's yeah. all it is it's just a wall you know let's set up a few walls let's make it easy and let's give people a home you know let's give them uh, some dignity and uh, some privacy and let's help them get back on their feet that's all this is rapidly deployable and you can put a lock in a door and just give people a place to stay under a roof this is the most efficient and the quickest way to address this on mass scale walking into the back of the warehouse here where we have it all set up My name is Vikan Ohanesyan, uh, the CEO of Duramax Building Product, and we are the largest vinyl wall manufacturer in the Western U.S. We're talking about our vinyl wall panels, our temporary wall systems, and how they apply to the homelessness crisis. We can help solve this, providing temporary shelters and cubicles and housing uh, for the homeless. These are called our temp walls by Duramax. We're, uh, we're the manufacturer. We sell online. We sell to Home Depot. We do the distribution. We ship it out to location, whatever is needed. We have two locations in LA, uh, one in Montebello, one in the City of Commerce. Each one of them is about a 50,000 square foot facility. And we extrude in Commerce. We stock our product in both locations. We're extruding these and we have, you know, we have truckloads sitting of inventory on the floor. It's part of our core business. We ship the product nationwide for all kinds of applications in hospitals and nursing homes as divider walls, temporary walls. Uh, and now we're finding a huge pull into shelters, people wanting small houses and shelters and private cubicles that people can call it their own and live in. We've been, we've been making the temp walls for about a year now, uh, but we've been making all kinds of wall systems, uh, whether it's our quick wall or our vinyl wall panel systems, that we've been making for many years. So we've been using the temporary walls as dividers, office, warehouse dividers, uh, wall systems. Here with COVID, uh, we got a tremendous pull from hospitals and nursing homes, and requirements wherever they need to put more beds and they needed safe dividers between people, between beds. How has the product changed, if at all, from its application in an office setting? We had temporary footing systems. Uh, so, you know, when you buy an office cubicle, you know how they have feet so they kind of stand alone. Uh, we, we made available a more permanent wall fastening system, a U-channel on the bottom that you can anchor to the floor hmm. and put the panels into. And what that did is it allowed us to have a much more uh, permanent structure, but it still is movable, you know? It still is flexible. So we've added actually uh, what we can do with the product. Like we've added a gate, uh, we've added a door, we've added partitions, different types of layout. There are a hundred uh, temporary wall sections, we'll get them out to you. And you can configure them as you want. You order 200, we'll get them out to you right away. We're producing this all day long and we're shipping them out. They're solid, heavy duty and they're vinyl coated with AGS microband. So when we are serving a lot of the hospitals where the bacteria and viruses cannot bond to the surface, uh, it's that type of a hygienic product. You can totally wipe it down, spray it with a hose, uh, easy to clean, more, you know, mold resistant, uh, moisture resistant, fire retardant. It's 100% recyclable. We actually use a lot of recycled materials in our, in our uh, production here. Every year, about 25% of the core materials that we use, we're actually able to circulate, recycle, and re reutilize into production. So totally, t totally reusable material. Uh, the worst thing you can do is just throw it away. It has great use industrially. You can bring it back and recycle it and reuse it, make brand new product out of it. Durability wise, it's a very durable product. You know, there's no paint, you know, with wood. Uh, once it starts rotting, you throw it away and it's trash, you know, and especially with all the paint and all the runoffs into the environment, uh, there is no wastage on this product. It can be reused over and over again. Here, here are some pictures, and I, I want to show this because it gives you an idea of the customization. Uh, notice in this picture, for example, how wide the cubicle is. So you can go wider and you can go narrower. Let's say you want an eight foot or you want a 10 foot 
or you want a five foot, depending on the size of the cubicle you want. We can even adjust the height of the product. It's very flexible in that regard. First round of COVID, uh, back in March and April, these are actual, this is an actual school gym, an actual hospital. I think this is St. Jude. Uh, uh, these are actual applications that we've used it for. We had it in a sports arena where they need to put up temporary shelters uh, for uh, COVID patients. And we built out a whole sports arena with it, an empty warehouse where they needed to put a bunch of sleeping units. Uh, here's a shot in, the, in another hospital that we used it in. It's, it's a, a durable, uh, it's a temporary wall, but it can be there for a very long time. It's a durable material. It's not like a cloth or something like this. It, and that's where it brings us into how it can apply to the homelessness and housing solutions. Because of how durable the panels are, you can actually make cubicles with doors, uh, partitions, all kinds of different layouts. Here's some configurations, for example, uh, you know, a single bed, a double bed, uh, back to back. Uh, and you can put doors and you can actually make them wider if you want. It's, it's totally uh, flexible. All right. So here we go. A live demonstration. This is, uh, these are the panels. You can see 20 inches wide and they interlock into each other, uh, connect at the corners. Material actually is a rigid vinyl if you knock on it, and it's uh, easy to clean and maintain. And it's got the, an Aegis microband coating on there that's really hygienic. You can set up multiple uh, cubicles like this. Take a look, you have multiple uh, cubicle rooms next to each other. This gives you an idea, and you can even put like a partition here like uh, this is uh, a front uh, uh, wall cover. And if you go in, now you, you have a room out of it. You know, you actually have a room, uh, a closed and enclosed room that you, and it can be somebody's private room. And then you can cover it with its own door. Like here, here's a door. That's got its own private door, so it's a closed, uh, and you can put a padlock on it, pure, quote-unquote, home. We can use uh, a normal door a with, that has a glass in there. So instead of making door out of its own, the own material, you can actually make a door. Uh, you can put a normal door on there. It's, it's hinged right on, so it's a hinging system, uh, and it becomes a door. So you can actually take any one of these open uh, cubicles, you can make partitions out of them, and then you can put a door in front of each one so you can make secure rooms out of all of them. You can do a cutout and put a window in there. It's thick enough. The wall's about a, uh, an inch and a half thick. Do a cutout wherever you want, and from the back, you can bring the lines in and feed it into the unit. Go close up. It's like a vinyl, uh, smooth uh, whiteboard. That's exactly right. So they could be like uh, ideation rooms as well. You could just write all over the walls with uh, markers and as, post-its. As long as, <laughs> as long as you don't use a, a permanent Sharpie marker. Can you, can you just snap them on the top too? So they don't have, there is no roof. It's open air. Uh, so, and typically, you know, where this can be used as, uh, you know, for the homeless is going to be in like warehouse spaces. And, you know, you, the nice thing about warehouse spaces is, you know, you can set up a hundred of these as rooms and then uh, you can use the bathroom centralized you can use the kitchen as a centralized kitchen conference room or meeting offices all centralized the nice thing about warehouses is that it's already uh, ready and furnished build up a hundred of these uh, rooms and now you can house people in there and then there's centralized resources if you want to bring in counselors or people to help with the, uh, the homeless, uh, get them back on their feet. You can use those centralized facilities. So it, it really suits that need for a transitional, temporary housing. You can actually go wider or, and you can go deeper. Uh, the panels lock into each other. Okay, yeah. So like so one person can actually kind of lift one of these panels off. Yeah, li I mean, li literally, take, take a look at what I just did. I just lifted it off the ground. Yeah. I had left the, the top... Uh, U channel uh, that's on top. I left it off for this piece so that I can demonstrate. And basically, hmm. two people literally in like three minutes 
can assemble this whole thing because they slide the panels right into each other. It's like a, a, a Lego board set. Boom, 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 boom. You build a cubicle. It's all done. They all slide into each other and they, they lock in. And then you put the, the top U channels right here. And that locks it into place. So what, you know? What's the dimension and, of the space that you're in? Uh, this one's about seven and a half by seven and a half. But we can easily go 10 by 10, 12 by 12. I mean, whatever yeah. you want. You saw how the panels lock into each other. So it has a lot of flexibility on what we can actually configure it to be. These walls are uh, uh, about one and a half inches thick. Look, this is the locking mechanism. If you see how the design of it is. That's just a slide-on rail there. from the top. Yeah, you, you see this? Oh, yeah. See how that goes? Yeah. You see, it, it, it's like a tongue and groove. But, but it locks in. It's got, it's beaded, so it locks in. For the adjacent and the corner, we have metal blocks on the top that actually make the corners. On the top and on the bottom, we have locking, interlocking uh, uh, T uh, projecting uh, that you screw in and on the bottom and the top and also on the corners. We have corner blocks that lock it in. We have edge finishing pieces. Uh, if you want, uh, you know, without without that groove and you want it to be a solid edge on the door, it's a smooth edge, mm. okay? We do have a edge finishing piece that you would just go ahead and put on the edge uh, to block off that tongue. Totally First waterproof. Okay. You can hose it down. It's totally, I mean, the, the vinyl material, it's, uh, it's, it's totally water resistant. You can uh, just wash it, hose it. it. It's like, this is a cubicle. Uh, it's a shelter, but it requires to be inside of a, a, a garage structure, warehouse, stadium, or an underutilized uh, facility. But you can't put it like in a parking lot because eventually nature is going to come and rain on you and it's not covered on the top. So there is no insulation per se. Uh, I mean, it's insulated by definition because you have a vinyl wall that keeps the heat outside. You have air pocket inside and vinyl on the inside. So it's not as it's not an R6 like a insulated sandwich panel. Definitely, it has insulation characteristics by sheer nature of the double wall and the dead airspace in between. You provide kind of a great background too for what a case example could be, where you know warehouse spaces do have quite a bit of natural light, so it's sort of similar inside to like a sprung. You kind of have your own private lockable space. But you, you know, you you have high ceiling space where it's that that provides sort of all of the weatherproof exactly. protection. But exactly. you sort of being able to do high density shelter with private space with natural light. You, you know, uh, if we get a big tent, you know, you could outfit the inside of the tent in a dirt lot as long as you have a, a protection from the element. For for three of the twenty inch panels, a five foot span by seven and a half feet tall. So that's 200 bucks. So let's say we want to cover an area that's an eight by eight, all the way around, all the way around. It's totally closed. Six packs of panels, 1500 bucks. So it's the same panel kind of regardless of like, you know what, it's just, you just, the six pack is, you don't have to buy like four corner uh, exactly. parts. Exactly, exactly. Two feet, just a little over two feet thick and two uh, and 20 and about two feet wide. It's like a two by two by eight. It seems like it can fit in the back of a car or like the back of an yeah. SUV. Absolutely. Like One person yeah. can carry it and throw it in the back of a car. You know, we ship it out in pallets. What's the warranty that you provide and, and how, how are they serviced or, or if like a hinge it's breaks? A, it's a lifetime warranty, manufacturing defects. It won't mold, it won't uh, uh, mildew, moisture. It's fire resistant. It's, uh, uh, a lifetime warranty on its construction. And you can okay. get all those details on the website, you know. What would you say is the most innovative uh, aspect of this shelter wall system? Strong walls that can be locked into each other and assembled like, like Legos. Working on for the next iteration. You know, we've been asked the question, can you put a smoke detector in, in the room? any kind of furniture or shelving can you supply any of that we're looking at the complete supply now you know those are things that we can always buy from the market as well yeah. you know but at its core the shell and the, the the lego constructability of it 
is where the heart and the greatest value add is. What would you say is the most misunderstood aspect? I think it's probably the concept. The concept that, uh, you know, housing doesn't need to be $100,000. <laughs> you know, there are many ways we can give people privacy and we can give people housing. You don't need grand solutions. There's so many affordable solutions. This is one of them, you know, uh, which are ingenious. So there's so many creative ways to actually address the need. You know, in LA, we got 50,000 homeless people. Let's just pick them and start applying it. It's not a big deal. Vikan, thank you so much for the tour of the Temp Wall system by Duramax. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.